this is the first time that we're actually doing this here in the U.S. This is uh, week 12. This is the technology itself. Uh, within the USDA, they have a lot of aircraft, they have a lot of technology. And the goal here is to develop these tools so that uh, other SIT programs or sterile insect release programs can benefit from having this lighter weight, more affordable technology. We have okay. petri dishes and those are all scaled to a certain size and then each field gets a certain amount of petri dishes based on mathematically the area and the amount of insects that we need to release to achieve what's okay. called an over flooding ratio. So we can, we can adjust the rate depending on the field size or how much we need to get out per second. But in the future we want to see more precision in that process. We'll infest the container with the insects and then um, all the missions are pre-programmed and um, pre-calibrated. So essentially what you guys will see is just uh, press start and then the aircraft goes and does its mission. What we want to do is handle the insects as little as possible. Every time that we're taking them out of the cooler and then loading them into or infesting them into the release device, that's like another handling point. And so we want to reduce the amount of those handling points. And so we're actually going to be working more closely with the Canadians to develop techniques and technologies in the facility that will support more of these uh, sterile insect release processes in the field. So they'll become more automated, they'll become more controllable, uh, less likely to have a variation or mistakes in the field.